chief security officer of uh, Polygon and as well his partner at Delta Blockchain Fund. Nice to meet you here. Thank you. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so can you tell us about your background and how did you get involved in the blockchain industry? Yep, sure. So I came uh, in the blockchain space about 10 years ago. I was doing cyber security before that, uh, so traditional security. Got excited with Monero actually for privacy reasons. Uh, started looking into Monero and um, all of the privacy stuff there. From Monero, I got into Bitcoin. From Bitcoin into Ethereum, then Polkadot, Cosmos, and pretty much everything. In the more recent times, I've worked on SociaSwap. I've, uh, I'm leading security at Polygon now and also Delta Blockchain Fund. It's, uh, it's quite interesting that you first discovered Monero. Which year was it? It was 2013, actually. Yeah, and in fact, I was looking at the underlying technology be, uh, behind Monero, CryptoNote. Uh, Monero was just using the underlying tech. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for how long have you been working with Polygon? Uh, I joined Polygon in February this year. And uh, what are your views on the privacy of all these uh, protocols, whether the protocols and generally blockchain companies should care about general security, not only for blockchain? So, like, in terms of privacy, I agree. Like, in the longer term, definitely we'll need privacy on the chain. Uh, zero knowledge rollups and all can help in that direction. Eventually, we'll have private transactions on there. Not right now, but uh, right now, uh, although privacy is required, it's not the core feature people are focusing on right now. There are more higher priority things to take uh, take care of. Uh, but eventually, yeah, uh, privacy, like for more institutional adoption, privacy would be a mandatory step. Yeah, this is true. And Polygon just announced uh, the release of uh, ZK EVM uh, rollups. Can you tell more about this, about this testnet? Yeah, sure. Um, so just today we announced ZK EVM, which is our upcoming uh, zero knowledge proof based rollup system. Um, it is uh, by far the most advanced ZK rollup tech out there in this space uh, compared to any competition. Uh, it helps tremendously in scaling. Uh, people thought uh, ZK EVM would be like a couple of years at least in the future, but we have it now, we have it working. It's still being tested. We'll be doing a public testnet very soon. Right now it's being tested internally and hopefully uh, we'll be doing a mainnet launch uh, end of this year or around that time. Great. And recently there was exploit of uh, Anchor Breach and uh, Polygon and uh, Phantom Safford. Can you tell more how did you cope with that? Yeah, so uh, Anchor's RPC service got uh, hacked recently. Uh, basically their domain name got hacked. They were using Gandhi as registrar for example, um, if, if I remember correctly. and their registrar basically got exploited and that way they got they lost access to their account mm -hmm. and once they lost access the attacker basically uh, replaced their original service with a malicious service uh, which was obviously like it had nothing to do with polygon or phantom or anything mm -hmm. it was just anchor uh, running a service on top of polygon which got exploited the names they were using for their services led to some confusion that these were polygon services and all but these were these were anchor services built on top of and for polygon and so what additional uh, security measures are you taking for polygon oh yeah with uh, for us we have a huge list of checklists a bunch of things we do for example uh, in terms of registrars we don't go with these uh, like registrars that allow customer supports to change your account or whatever mm -hmm. we are mostly using cloudflare internally and even within cloudflare uh, what you can do is you can tell them that uh, you don't want customer support to have access to your account so mm -hmm. uh, the advantage is like customer even if a customer support agent is malicious they can't take over your account the disadvantage is that if you do something wrong or whatever the customer support agent can't help you so we know how to use the product we are good with it so we are comfortable with uh, not requiring customer support agents to have access and if anyone has enough experience to handle domains that's what they should be doing and uh, crypto industry is still quite nascent and we see so many different uh, hacks uh, uh, horizon breach of yeah. harmony like bomb hole probably is the biggest yeah. ones uh, ronin x yeah. infinity so like what measures should be taken to prevent such hacks and how do you see the development of uh, yeah, sure. cyber security in crypto industry so uh, i'd say there are two uh, things that need to be taken care of one is the private key security 
So both Ronin and Harmony Bridge, which were like the biggest hacks recently, uh, they were exploited because their validator nodes or the keys of the validator nodes got compromised eventually. And that had nothing to do with blockchains. It was all just traditional security and traditional servers being exploited. So people need to start focusing on traditional stuff as well. Uh, apart from the blockchain stuff, I know blockchain companies have just keep they keep focusing on code audits, code audits, code audits, but there is more to security than just code audits. So obviously take care of that. And the other components is code audits. So uh, some protocols like wormhole you mentioned, those were typically code logic bugs. Uh, that bug could have been caught by a good code auditor. So um, yeah, like code audits definitely are important, but they are not the like only thing that are important to security. And as well, how do you see current crypto markets? <laughs> That's an interesting question. So uh, I'm not a trader or whatever. I don't know how the market will look like, but uh, the current sentiment is not doesn't seem very positive. I think the next year will be much better, uh, starting of next year. Uh, but yeah, I'm not an investment advisor or trader or whatever. <laughs> but still, we'll see market pumping these days. <laughs> oh yeah, that that keeps happening. That's crypto market for you. Up one day, down another day, it just happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, the ZK EVM that we recently announced that is gonna be our main focus in the future. Uh, we have the POS chain which is live obviously. A newer version of the POS chain is being worked on. A bunch of improvements will happen there. It will remain a key product. But we'll also be launching this ZK EVM which will give users an option to choose, choose between the POS chain and the ZK EVM product. Uh, both have their own pros and cons. Both will live in parallel. Uh, but yeah, these two will be our focus going on. Can you tell us well about your activity with Delta Blockchain Funds? Yeah. Into what type of project do you invest? Yeah, sure. So Delta invests in early stage uh, crypto projects. So anything which is super interesting, anything which is novel, uh, that is something Delta would love to invest in. So we love to support new founders, uh, people who are just coming up. They have like a brilliant idea, but they don't really have connections in this space. Delta can help them find those connections. Delta can help uh, take them, like take their brilliant small idea and actually turn it to, into a successful product. And uh, can you share as well some projects you're fascinated about? Uh, so Polygon, obviously, I'm uh, super excited about. Then apart from that, uh, I think in terms of scaling, like there are a bunch of competi uh, competition, which is a uh, little far from Polygon, but they are doing interesting work. In terms of DeFi, I think DeFi, uh, there are very few novel projects coming out in DeFi right now. I think a bunch of uh, new things have already been built, but existing protocols are launching new versions which are super interesting. Like Aave V3, which is uh, which was recently launched, it's super interesting. Uh, Curve is working on something new, uh, which is uh, super nice. So all of these existing big players that are slowly tweaking their product and making it better, I think that's super interesting. Yeah, so we'll follow and hope uh, the, uh, this bear market will bring more great projects to our industry. Oh yeah, definitely. Hoping for it. Thank you for interesting conversation. Thank you.